In today's video, we're going to be talking about Context 7. I'm going to show you how to set it up and why it's good. Basically, what it is, is it's up-to-date documentation for LLMs and AI code editors. So you can manually copy these, paste them into cursor, whatever. This would save you a tiny bit of time because it's really not that difficult to find this stuff for yourself. Okay, so luckily for us, if we go on Klein, it's actually available here, Context 7. Before I do that, I'm going to change the model here. I'm going to change it to Gemini 2.5. Pro. The reason I'm doing that is because it's the most up-to-date model with a cutoff of January 2025. So if I go on MCP servers and just press install here, then I like to immediately press cancel and say, I'm on Git bash on Windows. Please set up the server, then change my settings file, ensuring the server is run when there is a command or on the startup. Okay, so we'll run through this process. This will be slightly different for everyone. You can do it a different way, which is where you just use their GitHub. So you can see here, it loads MCP documentation. It wants to create a directory. We'll just let this run for a little bit. There we go, beautiful. And now if we go on plus and we say, I want to make a new Next.js project, start by doing the research needed on Next.js using the context seven MCP, store any useful information that that is more up to date in a file for information.mb. So a fairly simple prompt here. I know that you can do this with, you know, perplexity and blah, 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 but to have native understanding of this system, that will start to make things incredibly easy for us. 